Hey everyone, Queer V here with the Art Snacks Challenge for May. And of course, I have to do a mermaid because it's mermaid. And uh, if you didn't see the unboxing video, the supplies that we got in the box were a Spectra AD alcohol marker, two gelatos, which are like, I don't know what they actually are, but they they seem kind of like oil and or soft pastels but they actually like if you use water they like kind of melt and it's nice uh, a water brush was in there and also uh, art spray Malibu I mean Marabou <laughs> art spray this thing is messy and yeah so it didn't come with anything to like line it with and I was feeling kind of like it, uh, this piece was going to need some lines. Uh, I completely messed up on the left eye and made like a huge smudge and I'm really sorry if this is hard to see for everybody. I maybe should have filmed it like with him sideways but that's how I was doing it. So. <laughs> I, I didn't really want to draw him sideways because I drew the sketch of him that way and just, I don't know, orientation matters to me, I guess. Uh, and I saw this video of drawing with, with waffles and she was using like a dip pen to ink stuff and I was like, you know what, I'm actually going to try that and I first just kind of tested it out in my sketchbook with uh, just a sketch that I had drawn, I just inked it. And I was like, you know what, I like this, I can do this, because I can use a dip pen. And I was getting into calligraphy for a while, I haven't been into it lately, haven't learned anything new. But, uh, so, I sketched in my sketchbook, but I, I had to transfer it to this sheet of paper, because this is the sheet that came with the Art Snacks box. And so I made, I cut out that little, um, I cut out the little merman and just, I thought it would be a really good shield for when I used the art spray. And it was, like it worked way better than I thought. I actually thought that, that stuff was going to get in there. I put like a few pieces of masking tape on the back and yeah, it, it worked really, really well. I thought it was going to like seep inside. There was only like a couple places where that happened. But yeah, uh, the spray is definitely fun to work with. I think it gives pretty cool effects, but it is messy. I got it all over my hands. It's still like on my fingers. You can't really see that, but there's like blue in there. <laughs> there's like blue up in my fingers because I, I couldn't get it off, seriously. <laughs> it made a mess. <laughs> And I don't even know how I got so much on my hand, <laughs> but I had a bunch. <laughs> so yeah, that was that was an issue. Um, working with the gelatos was really nice. I made the decision to use them straight on, which is really difficult because they're like chapsticks. <laughs> like the shape of them is like chapstick. Like how do you draw fine things with this on this tiny paper? So it was a challenge uh, to work with those big sticks, but I really wanted the texture. Uh, a lot of people said that they used water in, in theirs because they didn't want the texture, but I, I kind of like it, um, especially with this nice this nice um, mixed media paper, Stillman and Burn, I think it was. Uh, and yeah, I really I just liked it. <laughs> uh, they were beautiful colors that I got. I and they they worked really well together. I mean, they blend it a little strange, but overall, really well, really well done. Um, I think it's kind of weird that an alcohol marker came with this because I don't know if it really works the best. Like I know it wouldn't work on top of the gelatos, but. Uh, I, and it was also very smelly. Like I watched Katie did art. Katie did art video, and she was talking about how stanky this marker is, and it's true. It's kind of smelly. 
And the price for that marker is like the same as Copics, which is really weird. Like, but it was pretty nice. Definitely nicer than any other non-Copic alcohol marker that I've tried. But uh, worth the money? Meh. I wouldn't buy any on my own because I'm addicted to Copics. Uh, but I liked the color that I got actually. At first I thought it was kind of ugly, but then when I put it down, I was like, oh, that looks, that looks actually good. And it was a really nice skin tone to get, um, even though I used the tan paper or beige or whatever, I didn't want to use that as the skin tone. I wanted to use the markers as a skin tone. So that worked out pretty well. And I had a lot of fun doing this piece. And I would like to let you guys know that I have a special offer for my Patreon for the month of May. And I'm going to be having a digital art book uh, for all the tiers. And basically it's going to be a PDF of like all the images of my mermaids and also sketches and maybe some bios and stuff like that. Sorry I keep mentioning this in videos, but I'm just really excited about it. I'm just really excited because I had this idea and I was just like, yes, mermaid art book, art book, art book. Never made an art book, but it's gonna be awesome. I promise. <laughs> and yeah, so I also wanted to show you guys this in my sketchbook because you might not have gotten a very close view in the video. And, uh, yeah, so I put plastic over it because the, the gelatos make a mess, but here we go. You gonna focus, camera? No? Okay, then. Guess it's not gonna focus. But the tail came out really nicely. I really like that. Very, very nice. His eyeball looks so wonky because I totally messed it up, but it is what it is. I really like the expression of my first sketch the best. Like, look at that face. It's so good. It's this one, by the way. No, this one. That was my first sketch, and I love that face so much. I gotta recreate that someday. And this one, this, oh, this was the one that I put on top of that to use spray, and I just thought it'd be funny to put it in the, in my sketchbook, but I had to kind of make him a little shorter because it was too long but yeah so <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed that uh it's been a blast using these products i like the gelatos even though i wish they had a way to like be pointy <laughs> or something but lots of fun uh very pretty colors i love the colors that i got all the colors that i got in this box this is a fun box and thank you guys all for watching that video i hope you liked it it would mean so much to me if you could leave a like leave a comment so i could get to know you subscribe to me it would really be awesome uh i would also like to thank my patreon my patrons <laughs> isathan art mystic kim rian jill and ashley you guys are the best thank you so much if anybody else is interested in checking that out link is below and i hope you guys all are having a great day bye